What's going on, everybody? I'm Primal Liquid, and welcome back to my Final Fantasy 1 Pixel Remaster Platinum playthrough. Guys, we are now on pass number 12, and it has finally happened after way too long. We finally, finally got Warmack. Oh my god, I, I don't even know how long this has taken me. It is being horrible. But we have it i paused the game just so you know i could i could uh, start the video straight off from it so we're gonna kill it and hopefully uh he's not going to flee that is something that can happen he can flee also fun fact if he does not drop the genji armor we're not farming it okay we are we are not going to farm the genji armor we don't need it for any trophies and i'm not spending all this time trying to find war mech for it so yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna have to deal with that unfortunately right let's resume battle shall we oh man i can't believe i finally got it it took way too long like honestly way way too long to actually get this guy to spawn like I even I even went and started moaning on Twitter because I just I just couldn't get him to spawn. Oh, I need to haste and temper them. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh Right, okay, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's haste and temper them. Uh where is haste? Mmm. Right, there it is. Right, let's do it on you, but just because you but does better damage. So if we if we haste him, even more damage, right? Oh, I just really hope he does not flee. Look at that damage, dude. Look at that damage. It's so crazy. It's so crazy how much damage Warmack actually deals. Plus the hundred HP regen as well. It's it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Right, let's go ahead and use cure. No, we'll use heal lager. You'll yeah, we'll use Hilaga just to fully heal. Uh, I'm going to haste Glitz as well. Just get that little bit more damage. 16 hits, man. Very nice. Please don't kill him. Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. He's already he's already attacked now, so the Hilaga should heal. Now, as long as, as long as I get over 300 HP, we'll be fine. Uh, Nuke might do a lot of damage to me, so I'm going to use another Hilaga. And we're going to use Flare. Oh, there's the nuke. Please don't kill. Okay, okay, that's fine. 200 damage. That, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I really hope. I really hope this actually kills it, man. I I don't want him to run. I don't want him to run. We need we need to kill him for the best. Do we? We've already done quite a chunk of damage, so he should be kind of close. There we go. He's dead. He's dead. Oh man, 128,000 gil. We do have times four gil on, obviously. Um, 32,000 exp that is not with uh, without times four we're only using times one exp which is normal and we did not get the drop that's fine uh, in fact does he even drop the genji armor in this version no he doesn't actually drop the genji armor okay well that's really fine then that yeah that's fine i always thought he did drop the genji armor but well i i guess not so yeah that's fine we have war mech added now so, 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 we can, uh, we can go through and finally kill Tiamat, the final boss of this area, and we're just gonna set up for that, I think. Yeah, that'll be fine, that will. It's so, like, attack, attack, holy, and flare. That, that's all we, that's all we need. That, that's absolutely all we need. We're also going to get the Excalibur weapon now as well. Right, the leech, Marileaf, the Kraken. You have defeated three fiends and reached my lofty perch. Yeah, come on, Tiamat. I wonder why it shows them as a gem first. Like, why why are they always looking like a gem, man? All the better. May the image of Tiamat, the fiend of wind, be the last to burn in your eyes. He wishes, dude. He wishes. I have to admit, though, I do like Tiamat's theme. I, I really like Tiamat's theme. Unfortunately, it's not a very hard boss, sadly. Like, he's not... He doesn't have any, any weaknesses. Um, and as you can see, he is kind of resistant to physical damage. But you could you could burn him down with, with magic just super easily and effortlessly. As long as you come into this fight with some MP, you're, you're fine. Ooh, okay, that was a surprising amount of damage. 
I, I was not expecting that much damage. Uh, luckily enough, we still have some MP for full life. And yeah, we're just going to flare. As long as Ruckus doesn't die, though, we're fine. It's like Ruckus alone should be able to kill this guy, to be honest. Flare is really, really strong. I mean, that's already quite a lot of damage we've done. We're probably probably more than halfway through for it, to be honest. I would I would say so anyway. Yeah, I would I would say we're quite a ways through. I'm gonna use a Hilaga just so nobody dies here. We we don't want anybody to die. And if he uses another poison, oh never mind, he's he's dead. Yeah, he he can die. We we can't. We we don't want to die. Right, so Tiamat is defeated, so we can go ahead and rescue or restore, I should say, the wind crystal. Level 47, so we're nearly level 50 as well. That's going to be really, really nice. And then what we're going to do once we have, uh, once we've, you know, fixed the uh, the crystal, we're going to go get the Excalibur weapon. And then from there, we're actually going to uh, to go ahead and sort of clean up the bestery. Right, there's another trophy, Wind Caress. So we are now at 59% of the trophies. That's fine. Leave? Yes, we want to leave. So yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to go get the uh, the Excalibur weapon. Uh, actually, I'm going to heal first. And I'm not going to look at the time on 13 hours. What was I on at the end of the last video? I can't remember. Either way, it took me way too long to get this freaking war mech, dude. Way too long. Anyway, now that we've healed up with Cottage, we're going to make our way down to the airship. We are still going to leave encounters on, though, because I want a Tyrannosaurus. I want a Tyrannosaurus, man. That's like all we need from the desert at this point as well. That's literally all we need from the desert. All right, holy and flare. Right, okay, so we're going to turn auto battle on. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go get Excalibur. It's not the it's not the strongest weapon in the game. There is still the uh, the Masamune, which is stronger. Um, but we don't get that until, like, near enough the end of the Chaos Shrine. I think it's, like, the second to last floor, if I remember correctly. Uh, so we're going to be kind of ignoring that for uh, for now. And we'll get that as we as we go through later. For now, though, we did get the adamantine in the uh, the flying city. So all you have to do is come to Mount Durga and speak to the gnome around the forge. We're going to give him the very, very purple crystal. And we're not going to get a purple sword. Is this adamantite? Yeah, it is, dude. Who will use this to make you the finest sword you'll ever wield? Ready? Watch the color, man. Watch the color. It's gold! Amazing how purple crystals turn gold, right? Done! In all of my years, I've never crafted a finer sword. Go on, take her. She's yours. I, I don't mind if I do. You know, for the Pixel Remaster, I kind of wish they actually made um, a proper uh, version of the Warrior of Light. Instead, we just get the red generic one. Right, we get the Sword of Myth Trophy. Crafted Excalibur. 68% done. We are going to equip the Excalibur as well. Because look at that, man. Way stronger. Way stronger. And it's effective against all types of enemies. Okay. So, we're going to just very quickly optimal everything here. And then, we're going to... Uh, to run on through now for the uh, the other enemies that we need so what we're going to do is that we're going to very quickly load up the uh oops oh actually i might as well just double check all the treasure chests really i suppose hadn't i uh yeah it looks like we're still good yeah chaos shrine those are the last ones don't worry we've not we've not missed any okay we've not missed any those are the last ones we need which we're going to get in the past Yes, there is time travel in this game. Right, so we've got all treasure chests. So let's go ahead and take a look at the... In fact, I'm going to save. Yeah, we're going to do a proper save. And do a proper save. All right, uh, bestery. So what are we missing first? Uh, let's see. We're missing number 65. So 65 is the Fire Gigas. Now, we can actually encounter that in the Chaos Shrine, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, what's next? 79. 
79 is the worm now the worm you can fight near on rack uh, but also in mirage tower so that's where we're going to go for that one yeah so we'll go we'll go to mirage tower for that let's see uh so that's back up in the desert oof oof well you never know we might get lucky while heading over to the desert we might come across um tyrannosaurus we can we can hope man we can hope like you never you never know man you never know oh the all source i don't want all source dude <sighs> god damn it oh well it's fine yeah you can get to around on rack if you really really want to but mirage tower to me they're just kind of i don't know they're just kind of easier to find but we do also need the um uh, what do you call it? Uh, Tyrannosaurus. So I'm going to just do a couple of battles here before we actually go in. And hopefully, hopefully, we will get it. Oh, still nothing though. Still nothing. We'll get it. We'll get it eventually. We will get it eventually, man. Come on. Come on. Uh, no, it's still nothing. Okay, you know what? We're going to say sort that. And we're just going to uh, to go inside. Although I am going to turn encounters off as we go through here. And the reason for that is the worm that we want, that is only located on the third floor. Okay, we, we can only find the worm on the third floor of the Mirage Tower. Well, obviously, in, you know, like around a Onrak. But we only... Well, we're in here, so that's exactly where we're going. Right, third floor. We can turn encounters back on now. So now we literally just sort of have to run around. Uh, you can refight the blue dragon if you really, really want to. But why why bother? You know what I mean? Why why bother? Come on, are you going to kill them all or what? There we go. Nice little flare. Hopefully it won't take us too long. Oh, wait. I didn't buy my items. Did I? I didn't rebuy my items. Well, it's fine. It's like as long as I can get a little bit of MP on the Black Wizard for exit, we'll be, we'll be fine. We will be absolutely fine. But yeah, unfortunately, the worm is not the most common encounter in here. So that does kind of suck, but... We, we can't do anything, you know? We literally can't do anything. It does spawn with um, the Wyvern. But unfortunately, while the Wyvern is kind of a guaranteed fight, the Worm is not. It does have a chance to spawn with the Wyvern. I mean, technically, you can get up to free spawning with it. But again, there's, there's no guarantee, sadly. So we do just have to sort of hope and pray. You know, hope and pray. It's one, it's one of them. Once we get this, though, uh, I think the next one is going to be the Tyrannosaurus. Because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go out of my way for anything that we can find in the uh, the Chaos Shrine, just because I don't see the point. You know, we might as well, if we can encounter something in that shrine, we might as well just get it in there, really, hadn't we? Like, there's there's not much point in messing around trying to find it elsewhere. At least as far as I'm concerned, anyway. Obviously, you know, if you want to go out of your way. Hey, nice, we got it. There we go. Two wyverns, two worms. Well, that's all we that's all we needed from in there. So we're Gucci. We're Gucci. Right, okay. So now that we have that, what's next on our list? Uh next on the list is uh Fire Giga, so we'll get that later. So next one is 95. So number 95 is, is that Tyrannosaur? No, it's the Deep Eyes. Yeah, it's the Deep Eyes. Oh, that's a rare encounter as well, man. Oh, shit. Right, okay. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go get that. So for that one, we have to go either to the Sunken Shrine or to the Chaos Shrine. Honestly, I don't like this one, so we're gonna go get this right now. Uh, exit. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go get this one right now. It is located in the um, 
the sunken shrine. Oh man, kind of sucks. I mean, it does give good EXP and EXP, but wait, why did I turn the counters off? I want to try and get a thingy. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go get that. Uh, no, still no Tyrannosaurus. All right, we'll have to get that later. I'm guessing. It's not the end of the world, though. We can do that kind of shortly. Oh, sorry about that, everyone. Had to do a little something, something. Right, with that out of the way, we can go ahead and go get a Deep Eyes. So, as I mentioned, for this one, we are going to go to the Sunken Shrine. Very, very simple explanation why. I don't want to farm this in the Chaos Shrine, okay? We can get it in the Chaos Shrine, but obviously, there's going to be a lot more powerful enemies in there as well. So, we want to try and avoid some of them if we can help it. And it's a rare encounter in both areas. So, it doesn't really matter where we go. We're still going to have sort of the same encounter rate. You know what I mean? Also, we are absolutely going to buy 99 of... Well, might as well just get 99 of everything, really, aren't we? It's like, does, does it really matter at this point? <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh, man. Like, I bet this still isn't even going to touch my gear. I could probably just run around by 99 of all the equipment as well. Like, I would probably still have a huge chunk left. There we go. We got 99 of every item and it didn't even dent me. It didn't even dent my gill. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do for Deep Eye is we're going to kind of do this like we actually did with uh, with War Mac. However, we do need to get to a specific floor, basically. Now, personally, I actually like doing this on the first floor. The problem is we start on the third floor. Okay. So, encounters are off. In fact, no, I'll leave encounters on because why not? There might be something else we need. I don't think there is, though. Like, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure there isn't anything else we need. But I do still need a little bit of EXP anyway. I'm going to turn Riley... Oh, I forgot to go to the inn. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, we do still need some EXP. So, we're going to leave encounters on... Uh, that's second floor, so we're nearly we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Let me just put everybody on attack. And then we can carry on going. Yeah, I always I always like farming deep eyes in the first floor. I think it can spawn on any of the four floors. Like I just I just prefer well floor one to four, I should say. Floor one to four. Whereas me, I just I just prefer using the uh, the first one i don't know why like i i don't know why i just i just do you know everybody has their their favorite farming spots don't they you know everyone will have their favorite farming spots you know whether it's for mobs items gear exp whatever me i i like the first floor it always seems to work better for me personally like i know i know everyone's gonna have that that moment per se where you know it's like oh i find this monster super easy over here and then someone else will find it somewhere completely different on a different floor yeah you can also get it to spawn on the fourth floor as well if you really want to so we could just farm here but as i say i like the first floor so that is where we are going oops wrong way just kind of sucks we have to go through i kind of hope well, I kind of wish I got this the first time I was here, to be honest. I just completely forgot about it. It's one of those those mobs you fight once, basically. But if you do want to farm it, um, it does actually give pretty good EXP and uh, and gill. But again, that part is is entirely up to you. Obviously, we don't we don't need the EXP. Well, we do need the EXP. We don't need the gill. Although to be fair, I mean at this point we probably don't need the EXP. We're gonna be like, we're going to have level 50 shortly. What level am I now? Okay, after this fight, we're going to check our level. Because I'm probably pretty close to 50, thinking about it. Am I close? Uh, 47. Yeah, so we're not we're not far off. Worst case scenario, I could just turn times 4 on and just blitz it. Right, okay, so here we are. The first floor. Now, as I said, this is a rare encounter. Okay. 
So, it could very well be just like Warmac, unfortunately. The good news, however, is basically everything here dies in in one hit, even from the White Wizard and the Black Wizard. So it shouldn't really take us all that long, and we should also hit level 50 in here as well. After this one as well, we've only really got to farm the, uh, the Tyrannosaurus, and then the rest of the enemies pretty much actually come from the Chaos Shrine. I think, anyway, I think that's all we're missing. I want to I wanna say that's all we're missing anyway. But yeah, there's really there's really not many left for us to uh, to get, to be honest. Just a, just a couple. Just a couple. The big one, though, is going to be this one. Just because it is rare. You know, it, it is rare for sure. So this could be like another 5, 10, 15, an hour. You know, it could, it could take us a while. But I think what we'll probably do is we'll give it, you know, a little, a little bit of time. And then if we still don't have any luck whatsoever, we'll probably treat it sort of like um, uh, Warmech. Where, you know, just like farm for the spawn off camera or something like that. Just so you guys aren't sat around watching the entire thing over and over and over. But then again, I suppose, at least this way, you do have my lovely, incoherent rambling to enjoy as well. Hang on, what level am I? 47 still. Ugh. I might just turn times 4 EXP on just to get that done. Although, at this point, I really don't think we need it, to be honest. Like, I really, I really don't think we're gonna need times 4. I know we use these at the very start of the game, but that wouldn't really have made a difference to us right now to be honest with how much exp we require might have saved me one maybe two fights at this point but yeah i mean if we can if we can get the pies pretty quick though then we should be sort of level 50 just as we fight chaos if we get unlucky though we could end up being like 60 70 this is very much the definition of wall mech all over again I did come here though because I wanted to try and avoid like super leveling. And the mobs in Chaos Shrine are definitely a bit harder than here. They hit harder on that. So I would also use more items and more MP healing. Whereas here I don't I don't even have to worry about it. Like I might have to heal once in a blue moon. You know what I mean? So it's just it just seems better to me to farm here. At least I think so anyway. Still nothing. Come on, man. Are you going to spawn or what? I'm really not having any luck of how long it took me to get war mech. I'm not. I'm not hopeful for this, to be honest. I'm really, really not hopeful for this. Man, having to get 100% bestery in each of the pistol... Uh, pistol? Each of the pixel remasters is just going to be horrible. And, like, there's not even really anything super missable in one, or, uh, one and two. And yet, it's gonna be—it's gonna, still gonna be a pain. It's like I really—I actually really, really wanted to get the platinum in under ten hours. That was—that was the goal I sort of set myself, but it just unfortunately did not happen, sadly. So you know, it, it's one of them. I'm kind of aiming to do that for FF2 as well. I want to try and get the platinum in under ten hours, which, realistically speaking, is very possible. Like, it, it is very possible, for sure. We just need a little bit more luck than we're having right now, anyway. So, we'll definitely need a lot more luck than we're having right now. Because this is... This is shocking, man. This is shocking. Knowing my luck as well, I'll finally encounter a deep eye and it'll flee. Literally, no my luck. That is, that is what will happen. I just really wish it had a better spawn chance in... Chaos Shrine, but it it doesn't. It doesn't, unfortunately. So we kind of just have to cry. Yeah, we kind of we kind of just have to cry. I mean, I could just get it in Chaos Shrine, maybe. Uh, 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 I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember what the odds are of it spawning. I don't think it was actually 
that common even in there, to be honest. <sighs> Still nothing. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to think what the spawn rate was. Uh, I think it was the same as Warmac, actually. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of think it was the same as Warmac. Which is just gonna suck beyond belief. Mm. Mm. I don't know, man. It's it's one of them. We're just gonna we're just gonna get it here, I think. So we might as well. It doesn't really matter where we form at this point, I suppose. We just sort of we just sort of have to hope and pray. I mean, hopefully we get it soonish, though. I mean, I'm just gonna run all the way around the floor. It's not gonna make any difference. Um, I should I should clarify that it's really not gonna make any difference where we, uh, you know, get into fights or anything like that. Anywhere on this floor will do, but it just it gives me something different to look at instead of the same six tiles over and over and over again. You know what I mean? And these these are the little things you have to do when you grind a lot. You know, you have to you have to sort of keep your brain active. Oh, deep eyes, we finally got it. Please, for the love of God, don't run away. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Sweet. Sweet, 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 we got it. Right, okay, what's next? So next is uh do 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 we're getting five gigas in the chaos shrine, that's fine. Right, 101. Wait, what was 101? Um, I think that's the water naga, right? Yeah, I think that was the water naga. Well, that's fine, actually. That's easy to get. It's like, for that, we can just go to the third floor. So let's turn encounters off. Yeah, if you get that in the sunken shrine, yes, this area as well, um, you, can, you can get it, but it will only spawn on the third floor. Um, it does also appear in the Chaos Shrine as well, though, if you want to get it there. It's actually super common in Chaos Shrine, but I think it's also super common in here, if I remember correctly. You just have to be on the right floor for it, basically. Like right here. So we're just going to turn encounters back on and do a couple laps up and down. Yeah, we should we should get it pretty easily. It should be pretty common in here, to be honest. And I think after this, it's actually going to be the Tyrannosaur. Which is going to suck, dude. It's really going to suck. It's so rare, that is. It's so, so rare. Come on. Nope, still, still nothing. Okay, maybe the War Snog is a little rarer than I thought then. Hmm. On, just give me, give me the water naga, please. We're making pretty good des uh, desert. There we go. I was just about to say we're making pretty good progress with all these enemies. So let's let's get it done. Let, let's get it done. Right. Okay. So there's the water naga. Uh, what do we need next? Uh, do 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 do. One o three. Yeah, one o three. So that is the tyrannosaur. So, we're going to use the exit spell right now with the white wizard just to get us out of this place. And then, it unfortunately is a case of just running around the desert until we get the Tyrannosaur. Luckily enough though, this is basically one of the last enemies we actually need to farm. Everything else pretty much can be encountered inside the, uh, the Chaos Shrine. So it shouldn't take us too much longer. Shouldn't do anyway. We can, we can hope, man. We can hope. Right. Okay. Encounters on. Come on, Tyrannosaur. Where are you? Nope. Nothing that time. Oh, man. This part's gonna suck. What's really annoying as well is the Tyrannosaur can spawn in groups of two. It's like, even though it can spawn either on its own or as a pair the actual encounter rate for it is really really low and it sucks however it is actually a really really good farm for uh, for exp it's like when i did my uh when i did my ff1 overpowered video this is actually where i farmed 
Like, I, I actually farmed here for Tyrannosaur. There we go. We got it. Nice. Sweet. And it got one shot. Brilliant. Right. Okay. So, there's another one done and dusted. So, what's next? Uh, that was 103. So, we need 108. Okay. So, 108 is the green dragon. I could have swore I got that. But, okay. Sure. I guess. I guess I didn't. Uh, well, the green dragon, um, we can get in the final dungeon, but I'm going to go get it in the waterfall cavern. I really, I really would have thought I got that, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, well, I suppose it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, oh, wait, no, I can't drop the boat there, can I? Right, let's drop the boat there. And off we go. So yeah, for the for the green dragon 108, we do need to go to the waterfall cavern. You can get it in the final dungeon, but this is just the place I like farming. Well, more so than Chaos Shrine anyway. I know we are gonna have to do some enemies in uh, actually in Council. I know we are gonna have to do some enemies in the the Chaos Shrine, but I'm hoping as long as we get the uh, the bulk of them done right now, then we can kind of just sort of run through the uh, the final dungeon you know what i mean as long as we just sort of run through it we will hopefully hopefully get everything we can hope though we can hope like that that's the goal that's the goal i just want to casually run through the final dungeon basically might be able to might not be able to i i don't know we're gonna have to sort of see on that one i might go save in a minute though because I haven't saved since I got Warmac. And I have got a Tyrannosaur and Deep Ice since then. In fact, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go out and I'm gonna save. I don't wanna I don't want anything bad to happen and for me I have to reform them. Because that would be horrible. That would absolutely be horribly bad. Still on level 48. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, come on, Green Dragon, where are you? No, I don't want Nightmare. Yeah, you just you just run away, that's fine. Makes the fight nice and quick. I don't think the green dragon is actually this rare. But it just doesn't want to spawn for some reason. Hmm. Then again, is the green dragon common in the final dungeon? It might be common. Um. Hmm. I'm just trying to think, like, what, what area is it? <sighs> I'm trying to, I'm just trying to, like, work through my head and think about what floor it's actually from. Mm. No, I can't think... Yeah, I can't think, unfortunately. In fact, what enemies do I need? Let me let me check the remaining enemies, because if there's not many, I might just get them from the final dungeon. Right, okay, so... We need 108, so that's green dragon. 115 and 116. Uh, wait, did I not get that? Hmm, well, that's the, that's the soldier. That is. Or I could have swore I got that uh then it's vampire lord we're gonna we're gonna get that from the final dungeon that's super super common uh and then 20 is final dungeon final dungeon final dungeon final dungeon uh dungeon yeah these are all the final dungeon these are Okay, so all we need to do then is get 115, which is the soldier. And the soldier is unfortunately only located in the flying fortress. I could have swore I'd already got that though, man. It's like I've definitely I've definitely killed that. I'm almost positive I've killed that already. Hmm. Well, we'll go there anyway, I suppose. And oops, wrong way. Yeah, we'll go there anyway, I suppose. 
Yeah, man, it just sucks. I thought I'd already finished this area. Well, it's one of them. I need the third floor, I think, for this. Luckily enough that we can just use no encounters and just, like, speed run all the way. But yeah, it's the third and fourth floor, I think, that we can get it. No, whoops, wrong way. In you go. Alright, let's just quickly speed run through this place. Get this done as soon as we can. Honestly, it should be really common. I don't know how I've actually managed to miss this enemy. I genuinely, genuinely don't know how I've managed to miss this enemy for sure. Oh, I'm going to have to kill the thingy again. God damn it. Come on, blue dragon. Why couldn't it be a green dragon though, man? Why? All right, let's just kill that. Get through it. All right, back we go. Thankfully, we can still access the fortress. Like that's that's a really, really, really good thing. Right, there's the first floor. Just go straight north for the second. Come on. All right, then I want all the way south. All right, third floor. Encounters on. Now we just gotta run around here. We can also go to the uh, the fourth floor if we really wanted to. But the encounter rate is pretty much the same, to be honest. So it doesn't it doesn't really make a big difference, to be fair. So now we just gotta run around waiting until we get the soldier. Even though I'm literally positive we've already had this. Like I am a hundred percent positive we've had this. No, stop giving me the Medusas and Rexoshas, please. What sucks is the Guardian and the Soldier literally have the same spawn rate as these. Like, it, it's literally the exact same spawn rate, man. But no, we're just not lucky, are we? Kind of sucks that the Soldier doesn't spawn on the fifth floor, either. If it spawned on the fifth floor, we would have we would have had it. There it is, soldier. See what I mean? Like, it's super easy to encounter. I don't know how I missed that. Because we didn't we didn't even turn encounters off while we were going through here. Right, so there we go. So that one's done. Uh, exit. Right, so that's all the uh, that's all the best we done for now, anyway. Uh, we just have to, you know, make sure we get the ones as we go through the Chaos Shrine. So, with that said... Let us head on over, shall we? Ah, oh, oh, you really, really, yeah. Okay. As soon as, as soon as we already have the Tyrannosaur, we get another one. I hate my RNG look, man. I really hate my RNG look. Right. So with that said, though, we now have pretty much all of the enemies. So we're gonna go to the Chaos Shrine, and we're going to uh, to run through that. We're gonna get all the remaining treasure chests. I'm going to use a cottage, though. Uh, yeah, we're going to get all the remaining treasure chests. So we're going to get the remaining bestery entries. And we're going to complete the game, resulting dun, 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 in our platinum trophy. So if we take a look at the bestery real quick as well. Um, obviously, we're missing the one up there. That's Fire Gigas. But that's super common in here. Don't worry. Uh, Green Dragon. That's also going to be going here uh 116 wait what was 116 uh vampire lord yeah vampire lord i don't get how we didn't get that because that's also in the flying fortress but okay whatever um we're gonna get that in the final dungeon pretty pretty common don't worry uh and then from that point on it is literally just chaos shrine exclusives basically so we just need to we just need to make sure we get them luckily enough as well uh, one of them is super common and the rest are sort of like on each of the floors so they're pretty much impossible to miss basically so yeah we're, we're basically we're basically done man we're gonna we're gonna get this platinum trophy guys we are going to get it however we're going to be getting it in the next one because i'm going to be ending this video right here still though i do hope you all have enjoyed if you have then please be sure to smash that like button and drop a comment down below as it really helps the channel out tremendously and of course if you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content as always though everybody thanks for watching and i'll see you soon